Colossus had fought in Europe and he pretty much controlled the entire area. And that's when he decided to go towards East, enter Persia, and try to control the East as well. He already had Europe, and his plan was to get Asia and have control of the entire world. And that's when in 53 BC, Crassus and 43,000 of his men, they enter the Parthian Empire's land. When Crassus was going towards Persia, word had gone out that he's coming, and Surena is appointed the general to stop him. But since Crassus was doing a surprise attack, Surena was not ready, and he only had around 10,000 men. And that is why he didn't start the war at the border. He didn't want to meet him at the border because he wanted to bring him deep in the Parthian land and meet him where he wanted to. Crassus gets to a place called Haran, which is also called Karhe. Crassus sees Surena's army from afar and he tells his army to do the Testuda formation. This was the Roman way to put their shields up and basically create a box and it was hard to attack them. When the Testudo formation happened, Surena told his men to attack. Forty-three thousand Romans are behind their shield, and ten thousand Parthians are charging. Surena orders his cataphracts to charge the first line and to break formation. Hold formation. <laughs> then he tells the rest of his men to go on both sides of the army and with all the arrows they had, make it rain down on them. This was exactly Serena's plan. He knew exactly how the Romans fought and he brought him to a place where he could handle him with 10,000 men. An army that took over the entire continent of Europe is right here surrounded. They can't even move their shield. When Crassus noticed that they're stuck, he ordered his men to charge forward and attack, and they started charging, but there were so many arrows that it would not allow him to move forward. Where are all these arrows coming from? How many can a soldier carry? But Surena thought about this. He had a thousand camels filled with arrows on them and they were following the army along. Any soldier that needed more arrows, they would go take it from the camels. Stay and fight. 
Crassus never thought this would happen to him. When Publius, Crassus' son, noticed that everything is going to bits, he told the soldiers around him to kill him so he doesn't get captured by the Persians. No soldier could be left alive here. In a war zone, there is always vultures flying around because they know what's coming. One of the most interesting things about this war is the amount of arrows that were shot. And this was all Serena's tactic to have a thousand camels so his army doesn't run out of arrows. When nighttime came, Serena ordered his men to surround the Roman army. He basically didn't want any of them to run away, and they can resume the war in the morning. In the morning, the Roman army got themselves together and got ready for war. They were moving forward, but they didn't have hope, but they still had their flag up. Just like before, the cataphracts charged at the front line again. After the cataphracts attack, don't think they ran out of arrows, they still had plenty more, and the raining started again. This was the biggest Roman defeat in all of history, more than 20,000 of them died, 10,000 prisoners, and the rest of them, hungry and thirsty, ran away. Crassus' body was found between the soldiers, but they don't know who killed them. We said how many Roman deaths there were, around 20,000, and the ones that ran away didn't survive much longer because they were very damaged. But it's good to know that the Parthian army, less than a hundred of them died. After this war, Surena was known as a warlord back in Parthia. And this made Oroz II very jealous. And he thought that Surena, with all this fame, is gonna take over his spot and become king of Parthia. And that is why he came up with the idea to kill him. And because of jealousy, he had him executed. 